Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Esteban Ocon has made a bold statement, and Red Bull have given Sergio Perez bad news. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Esteban Ocon, who said he'd be fighting with Max Verstappen for the F1 World Championship if both drivers were given equal equipment. Now the two drivers first dueled together in the 2014 FIA Formula 3 Championship, with Ocon seeding the series title as Verstappen ended up third in the standings. But Verstappen has gone on to have a lot more success in F1, with him winning two world championships, and it looks like he's about to win a third this year. But Ocon has spent most of his career fighting in the midfield, having never driven a car that can fight for the title. But he does believe he could take the fight to Verstappen in a Red Bull for example. He said, I see myself fighting Verstappen for the World Championship if we had the same car. Max is doing an incredible job, he's just dominating with Red Bull, but I don't care who the driver is. I want to fight for the championship. I've always believed in myself, there's a long road ahead, but my goal is to be World Champion. Now it's a pretty bold statement to make, given we know how good Max is, but Ocon has had a pretty solid career. Like he's been on the podium a few times, has driven some strong races, and also does have one win under his belt after a crazy 2021 Hungarian Grand Prix saw him move up to first following Mayhem at the start of the race, before holding on to take victory. So I've got no doubt that he'd win races in a Red Bull, but beating Max would be some challenge, especially considering that he's now very experienced and the best approach to take each race when fighting for a title. I mean you never know, but I think Verstappen would probably still take the title over Ocon. But let's move on to Sergio Perez, who didn't make it into Q3 for the third weekend in a row. Like the last three races, teammate Max Verstappen has bagged pole, but with Perez, he crashed in Q1 in Monaco, didn't make it out of Q2 in Spain, and it was the same situation in Canada. Basically, the track was drying out in the latter part of Q2, but Perez found himself caught out and only setting the 12th fastest time. But the fact he hasn't made Q3 three times in a row now won't please Red Bull, and even Verstappen had something to say about it. He said, Well if I hadn't been there, it would have looked very different for Red Bull. I wouldn't be happy with not making Q3 three times in a row. Now in the race, Perez only made it up to 6th, and he just didn't have the pace to challenge the Ferraris ahead. And following the race, he said that he was particularly struggling under braking, and that the ride hasn't been great, and urged Red Bull to figure out what's happening. But team boss Christian Horner has downplayed told that there was something wrong with Perez's car in Montreal, and blamed Perez's pace for him not being able to beat the Ferraris. He said, You would have needed a reasonable pace offset, but we didn't have that with Perez. Certainly I don't think there's anything specific. I think he was struggling like the others to generate tyre temperatures. So of course, that's something that Max has always been very strong at, with the way he drives the car. Now Perez is generally regarded as being very good on the tyres, but it's clear Max has just upped this game massively, and is starting to become a very complete driver, like he can bring his tyres up to temperature, look after them, and manage the car all while having the speed to compete at the front, and having the ability to deploy even more speed when he needs to. And when asked why Perez looks to be so much slower than Verstappen in the same car, Red Bull advisor Dr. Helmut Marco said, because Max is Max, he's in the best car, but even in that car only Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton could keep up. Those three are simply the strongest, and Max stands out among them. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.